YouTube, this is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick video um, per one of my followers' requests about doing a video on lazy co-workers and co-workers who also leave their work on you. Since y'all know, you know, nursing is, well, in the LTC and even hospital is a 24 hour care. So it just goes on and on and on. So what I have to say about that, um, thankfully, I haven't worked too much with lazy nurses. Um, the nurse that I worked with when I was at the LTC was a great nurse. Um, I would ask her things she didn't mind explaining, you know, if I had any questions or how to do things um, when it came to the system and stuff like that. Um, she was very helpful and stuff. So I didn't too much deal with lazy workers um, because like on our end, it was like, um, it was three nurses, it's three nurses and you're assigned to your own home. So we didn't have, you know, really a charge nurse or anything like that or someone, you know, we report to, I guess a much our shift or whatever. But uh, everybody pretty much was helpful. So when it comes to a lazy nurse that way, um, it's just basically hearsay from another nurse who, you know, who may work after that person. But personally, I didn't have to deal with one. Um, it was, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty cool when it comes to a lazy nurse. I'm trying to think of an instance, um, an example that I have thought of, you know, that came across. Because y'all know when I do videos, I just, I do a right, whatever comes out, comes out. Oops to any co-workers that watch us and they feel offended because they wouldn't know what I'm talking about them. But uh, um okay, yeah, I do have one. So one day um I had this patient who needed a um a stool sample. It's, it was a stool or a urine sample. Might have been stool. I think it was a stool sample. And it was something, or it might have been urine, I don't know, but it was something like we needed it to start on one shift and end on another. So I don't know if it was like stool, like three stool samples, and he had to, you know, go like one time per day, you know, I don't know, or was it, you know, urine or whatever, but the um, patient was pretty um, confident. He was able to follow instructions, do everything, you know, just a little reinforcement, um, just in case he forget. But other than that, that was it. Well, I had this nurse who, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm also driving. I'm coming back, I'm going back to Texas. I just left uh, Louisiana. We buried uh, my uncle, so this over the weekend. So I'm headed back now, even with all, all of this craziness. But I'll get into detail about that later. But anyway, so um, I was the night shift nurse. And so this nurse here was day shift. And so, um, it was something on it. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I asked my other nurse that I always ask on night shift if I had a question or whatever. She was like, let day shift start started or whatever. So that way, I guess it'll end on us. I don't know. I can't remember the details. And so, but I remember this particular nurse said, well, it's going to roll right back around to night shift, you know, that morning. And I'm not one to pass along things that um because i don't want to do it if that makes sense um i want i will do i don't mind doing my work and because you know i have time um i'll make time even if i don't but i'm not one one of those lazy people who always looking for a handout or wanting someone to help them or just you know taking it back to the other nurse so that way they can do it because you know you may have some new nurses that be like well i don't want to do it i know how to do it but i don't want to do it so i'm just gonna pretend like i don't know you know i have um i have encountered someone like that and i'm pretty sure they knew how to do it but they did it and so um but yeah and so it did it came right back on night shifts on my shift and i did i started that or whatever because i can't remember exactly the reason why i didn't do it um at first i can't remember i can't remember and so um yeah that that might be the only um uh, 
situational example that I'm truly able to give when it came to a lazy nurse. Now, seeing that is, oh, baby, I can go on and on and on. How long do y'all have? And so, um, <laughs> but yeah, lazy nurse, if not so much. Um, what was the other part of that? Um, oh, passing work alone. So, the one nurse that I worked with all the time, she had got to wear, um, she needed to leave like 30 45 minutes early some days or whatever so she'll count with another nurse and leave so she would leave me with like a couple of things to do check on check labs you know something order on um, some supplies like um, for the residents um like in our system we can order things from pharmacy and stuff like meds and stuff like that and so um i pretty much didn't mind doing it um because it wasn't every day again i'm one of them type of people i'm there for my patients so if my patients going without then hey that's a problem you know but i'm also not one that i don't know i guess i'm pretty nice when it comes to things like that like i guess because my nurse that same nurse she was a cool nurse like she went far and beyond you know over and beyond and whatever and i'm sure um she did a lot on her shift as well as i'm pretty sure she's done a lot to help me as well like because we work together a lot so i'm pretty sure there were things that may have needed i guess you could say touched up or some changes you know something like that and she helped me without saying anything but just her attitude you know she had a pretty good attitude it was just like she would always complain about just being tired you know like as far as all of the things that for, I'm making sure that's not a police. All of the things the facility would make us do or add to us, add to them. You know what I'm saying? So like she used to, uh, she used to vent to me about different things. So I don't think that you know um, she was doing it intentionally. But of course she was doing it intentionally. Like you know we're not like going about her shift and be like, well, Ashley, I know she'll do this. But with her mindset, it's ill. If I don't have time, then I will ask her to do this. You know what I'm saying? And so, and, and I would be the same way. That that would be me if I work days. Because, I don't know, I just have much more respect for you when you come off like that. Like, you're going to work hard. You're going to do what you need to do. And hopefully, you're going to try to finish everything that you have um, said or whatever. But like I said, here and there, she would need to go, you know, leave work early. So, um she would ask me to do a couple of things like one time it was like five or six things i didn't mind it because it was like it lasted for like two or three days but like it wasn't nothing too drastic or whatever so i mean i was cool with that so i really didn't have nothing to uh i really don't have anything bad to say about working with lazy nurses or being work passed down because i'm one of them type of people i would go ahead and do it like if I feel like you had time or whatever, like I'll be thinking in the back of my head, like, yeah, I know you had time or whatever, like that to do it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because at the end of the day, I'm there for that patient. And at the end of the day, I'm the one who's leaving, going home, getting a chance to enjoy myself and my family. You know what I'm saying? So, and I try not to think of it from a negative mind, you know, mindset. Now, hopefully 10 years, 20 years down the line, I still feel the same way and I'm still, you know the person that i am i hope that nursing and um my peers or uh, future jobs that the employers they don't the employees they don't make me change you know they don't change my mind of thinking which i doubt it because i'm just like that in life anyway i'm not big on complaining and i'm not big on you know people who complain either unless you really got a valuable point or you just you know look slightly in but that's it but you get your stuff done i was about to say yes the s word but but you get your stuff done you have the business i don't mind working for that person and so and that's why i like um the nurse that i was working for you know and i think she liked me too because even though she had been a nurse for a long time but like she was saying when i was leaving when i was um going prn and stuff like that i don't know it just you know we just had that bond like we we could we was able to talk in a sense not about you know nothing personal I don't tell anything at work, anything personal, because I, you know, and that's another thing. Don't make friends. Don't your coworkers are not your friends. You make your money and you go home. If y'all want to hang out, you hang out, but you don't talk about your personal things. You don't talk about if you made a mistake or a med error or 
something else that big that you was able to fix. You don't talk about those things to them because they will come back and throw that stuff back up in your face. And that's even with your friends. When it comes to your friends, you be careful what and uh, who you vent to about different things too. Because everybody not out to see you win. So, but that's a whole nother subject for another day. But go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, guys. And uh, give me feedback what y'all want to hear next. Um, I'm all for it. And um, also, once I get back out here to Dallas area, I'm in, y'all, because I've heard it's bad. And so, even the schools are out in Louisiana, the schools are out. They don't go back to school until next month on the 13th. I think it's April 13th. And they declared that on March the 13th. So, yeah, and out here, um, they're, they've been out a week. Or, you know, they had spring break last week and they out this week. Also, before I go, so my little girl, um, my patient, she was out of school. So, of course, I don't need to go. You know, your parents or your mom, you know, can take care of you while um, you are at home. So, this week, she's also out. So, if they're in school next week, I'll be back next week. But if not, I don't I don't know. But I'm not rushing it. I'm enjoying my time off. And I thank God for savings, being able to save money. And you guys, if y'all are nurses, please, that's one thing I highly recommend. Saving up at least two, three months. Like, if you're a beginning new nurse, save up, like, three, three months minimum of, you know, um, all of your bills. Be able to save that. Don't depend on... Um, this thing they got going is um, you call certain places how they won't uh, report um, late payments or give you, you know, give you a fine for paying late. Don't trust that. Y'all save y'all money up. If you if you've been a nurse, you, I'm sure you know to try to save up your money. I know it's hard, but for you know most people, because most people have kids. Thankfully, I don't have any. I'm able to save. I've been blessed. I've really been blessed. I've really been blessed. And so, um, yeah, I can't say that enough. I'm blessed. And so, I'm not, I'm not tripping on not working right now. So, I mean, I'm just bored, you know. So that's about it. And so, hopefully, um. Hopefully, I can go back to work come next week. But in the meantime, like I said, y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know any feedback y'all want to see. And the video will be coming. Bye.